the magical world of Willow is back, and this time with all new characters. We're looking for the sorcerer, Willow. I was told that once long ago you defeated the forces of evil. You remind me of your mother. My dear friend. Looks so good. Willow is the sequel to the 1980s film by Ron Howard, of course, and it picks up where that movie left off with a new generation of heroes, two of which are in the studio with us this morning. Stars of the show, Ruby Cruz and Tony Revolori. Join us this morning. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Likewise. Thank you so How's much. How's your morning? How's your morning? Um, my morning is good. Well played, guys. Um, I love watching the interaction between the two of you. You obviously have a lot of fun working together. The movie is a lot of fun. Ruby, I want to start with you. Yes. You play Kit, the daughter of Queen Sorsha. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about this quest that you are now on. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I lead a quest to find my brother. My brother um, is taken and... Um, you know, I find it my duty to to set out and find him and She's find myself along the way. You. Tony, you grew up as a fan yeah, of this original movie. I mean, who was it? Yeah. What's it like for you to be carrying a torch for a new generation of people? They wouldn't know this story. It's amazing. Um, I think this story is about unlikely heroes and, you know, credit to our creative team that they've created a show where you don't know who's going to be the hero, who's going to be the villain, and that's the beauty of it. Um, and beyond that, I had so much fun on the series and I can't wait for people to see it. I can tell that you guys have had so much fun working together as well. Yeah. Uh, Warwick Davis, who is a legend for playing Willow in the movie, is back again for this show. What is it like to work with him behind the scenes? Ruby, as Tony fixes your bow tie, I'll start with you. You know, I got distracted by Tony. Wait, who, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to work so with Warwick? Oh my God, it was amazing. I mean, he's an icon and a legend and just a complete professional at what he does. Just, it was amazing getting to see him in his element and you know, hear him crack jokes on set and just be the talent that he is. It, it, it was amazing. And also to have, like, the spirit of this. Yes. This, yeah. The original there. Yeah, just there at all times. Tony, what about you? It was amazing. Um, he's so quick-witted and funny that he was able to kind of uh, invite us into the world and show us why people love this series so mm -hmm. much, even beyond me, who's a fan. Mm -hmm. um, and beyond that, it just kind of gave us the importance of what we're doing here and how much people love the original. And it must have been so great for him to know that there's this new generation of people. Oh, first of all, a generation of people who haven't forgotten this film. Yes, but secondly, who are interested and passionate to see it come back. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. Amazing. Uh, people know you from uh, Marvel Spider-Man movies, Tony. Uh, yeah. You play Flash Thompson. How does that action fantasy compare to doing something like this? Um, you know, there's differences. We're, we're in regular clothes. There's no swords. There's no, um, uh, no boots and no horsebacks, <laughs> no creatures as you see there. Um, so it, it's wildly different because where we shot was in actually in Wales, up in the mountains, you know, in the actual elements raining and, you know, we're having fight scenes on top of a mountain and, you know, that's a new <laughs> thing that I've never experienced before. <laughs> uh, Ruby, leave us a list of little tease. What oh. do you think will blow fans away and what, what stands out to you from this process? Ooh, that's, I mean, so much. Our, our mm -hmm. show, our series is really just jam-packed with so much for so many different people. Um, I think that... What I love about it is it really stays true to the original and to f 80s fantasy where the humor is really contemporary and I think like a lot of the elements are super contemporary while while we're in this fantastical world I think that that contradiction and that juxtaposition is really is really fun and really wonderful and I want just people to have a fun time and laugh. Well, it ha hangs on to some of the original character. What are some mm -hmm. of the new elements that they've been able to bring in? Oh my god. <clears throat> I mean um, like you said bringing back uh Queen Sorsha and Joanne mm -hmm. and Warwick, as we mentioned, and also Kevin Pollack comes back. Yeah. But we have new characters like uh, Christian Slater, mm -hmm. who comes in and has a bit of fun in the show. Mm -hmm. We all love a little bit of Christian <laughs> Slater. <laughs> or a and lot of Christian Slater. It's not like a, yeah. <laughs> and then just having a, um, just the exploration of the yeah. world, you know? Yeah. Expanding the knowledge of what people loved about the original mm -hmm. and going to new places, places we've only heard about in the original, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Cannot wait to get back into this world. Thank you both so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you. Thank a you. reminder to you at home, Willow is on Disney Plus. It starts November 30th. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.